Okay, in this video, we're going to set up a notification and send it off to a calendar and maybe do a couple of other fun things at the end. If you have not watched the webhooks about contacts, watch that first because the very beginning of this is kind of redundant. I'm going to fly through it. If you need it slow, then um, you can go back and watch that video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Zapier or whatever software you're using to create uh, webhooks. And we're going to add a webhook and we're going to choose a catch hook. Again, if you're not sure what I'm doing here, um, go back through the webhooks for contacts. This one is going to be for notifications. Okay. Uh, and we need to copy that webhook, remember, from the other video. We need to go into Genius, go to webhooks, create webhook. I'm going to call this one notifications. And we're going to add that webhook URL in there. Now, Maybe we want different types of notifications, right? Maybe I'm going to have a notification process in Zapier for I do one thing if they're a customer, something else if they're a new lead, something else if I'm setting them up to watch a demo uh, or, or whatever. And this might be notifications new lead. It might be notifications customer. And those particular zaps that you're creating might do different things or automations or you know whatever system you're using if it's not Zapier. Now, if you remember from the first video, if we test this, there's no data there yet. Right, because we haven't done anything with the webhook. So let's go create a notification and I'll show you what we can do with this. Okay, so you can do notifications from this G icon. All right, you can get your notes, you can get your templates, you can add contact info. This person has contact info, and you can set a notification and choose what webhook to associate with it. This will send out a browser URL. Uh, only if you do select webhook optional and just leave it there. If you actually pick a uh, webhook, then it's going to do whatever that webhook is based on what you've told your webhook system to do. So that's one place you can do it from the icon. You can also do it from over here. Click messages. Uh, I'm going to use that person. Um, that's my wife. So I'll use her as a test. And um, here's this is the icon here, webhook. We'll probably change that icon, but it'll be in that place. And we want to um, I'm sorry, we already did that on the contact ones. We want to do a notification. Okay, so sorry about that. All right, so um, let's just call this, actually, let's call this um, test. Yeah, we'll just call it test notification. I can put any email I want in there. Maybe I want this to be mine. Okay, we already have hers. Let's put mine in there. Let's set a date. This is 612. Let's put 620 just so we know we have plenty of time. I want this to be a notifications. That's the webhook. And again, you can have many webhooks in here and we'll do um, call about test stuff. I don't know, you know, just put something in there what this is. Okay, call about test stuff and then set that notification. Now we should have some test data in Zapier and you can see we do. There's the subject we typed, the email, the message um, that we had, the first name, last name, label, and email and phone number of the contact. Now these will be blank if you haven't added that in. Um, and then the type, and we can hit continue. Now let's do an action. What can you do with this kind of stuff? You could just send an, a text out saying, hey, you got an appointment with this person at such and such a time. I'm going to show a calendar, okay? Let's do a let's do a calendar, okay? Let's do Google Calendar. We'll add this right onto the Google Calendar. Um, there are different things you can do with Google Calendars. Um, I'm just going to do a quick add event. You can play around with your system, uh, but I just want to kind of show you what you can do with these. This is only one of thousands of things you can do. If you have multiple accounts, pick the right one. Hit continue. If you have multiple calendars, uh, pick which one. Otherwise, just pick the one that's up there as default. Now, we need to describe the event. Now, in the quick ad, you can only do a string of text, and Google is smart enough to parse that text. Okay, so we might want to put um, call about test stuff, and we might want to put um, this person's first name and phone number in there and then we want to put the date and the time we have to have the date and the time that's the most important one and then maybe you know other info now if we want google to send out an email maybe i want, want one to come to me that i've typed in there and i want one to come to this test person so they can get an email about this appointment we just need to find their email there we go now we hit continue and we can test it and it'll actually send that out. We'll find out if this works. It looks like it did. And let's go take a look at the calendar and see if it actually worked. Calendar.google. Make sure you're in the right calendar. And there it is. See how it parsed.
Okay, it didn't parse perfectly. Um, it got the date and the time right. It will always get that right. But, you know, some of this other text, call about test stuff, Margaret, phone number, and then it kind of caught the beginning of the date, which is which is this. Sometimes that happens. I maybe could have put a, a couple of spaces in there so it didn't run together. Um, but that's great. I've got a, you know, I can see what that phone number is. I can see all that information. Of course, I have the, the data in, in Messenger. But it's there. It'll be in my calendar. And of course, sometimes you can forward things from your Google Calendar, sync your Google Calendar with iCal or other calendars if you want there. So you, the data can go there. And um, that's that. Now, I will take um, a couple of minutes and show you some other things that we can do here, right? So here's this app. Let's turn this app on, okay? And let me show you some other things you can do. So maybe we want to go back to the setup and maybe we want to do something else. Maybe when we set this appointment up, I don't just want it to go to my calendar. Maybe I want to get a text, okay, just as an example. Or maybe I want to send, and I did this, I used Chirply in one of the other videos, in the contact video. So maybe I want to put all this data out into my uh, text marketing system. Maybe I want to send it to a CRM. Maybe I want to do something else. Um, maybe I want to send myself a text. Zapier will send the account holder a text, right? So I could do that. And it's going to send me a send the account, and uh, it's going to send me a test as soon as I do it. See, there's the test, and um, I don't care what number it comes from. And then it could be don't, you know, or just something um, reminder. Call. This is the message of the text, right? Reminder. Call. Um, we'll just put the first name in Margaret. At, and I can put the phone number on notification date. Maybe I just want this information in my text, right? That's it. Now I can test it. And we'll see in a minute if it comes through because my text come up here. See, reminder, call Margaret at phone number, and there's the date. Now I got that in my text. I've also got it in Google Calendar. I could turn that zap on, and it'll do that every time. And it'll change the, uh, it'll, it does those tests when you're, when you're in here creating things. It'll change the fields based on what you send. It'll always be that particular person's um, first name, that person's phone number that person's date and time of when you set it. So that's it. Again, there are many, many things you can do with this data. Have fun with webhooks. Play around with them. If you have other ideas or if you need to see different data sent, uh, let us know and we'll play around with it and try to get you some uh, some additional uses for it. But hopefully that's a lot to get you uh, moving forward with what you're doing. Take care. Thanks.